We're going to write this using inequality notation. X is greater than 2022. And then look at each of these in turn. So for A, if X is bigger than 2022, then this thing here will be bigger than 1. So let's see if there's anything that is going to be less than 1. Um, over here, okay, I'll come back to that one. This one, well, C is actually going to be bigger than A because I'm adding an extra 1 to it. So that's definitely out of the question. Uh, and I can put a little cross by it. Um, then what else do we have? We have, okay, we have that this one is going to be less than 1. And um, this one is also going to be less than 1. But if I divide by something that's bigger than 2022, well, basically this one's going to be bigger than, sorry, smaller than this one. So I can rule out D. Like if I have 2022 over 2023, then that is going to be greater than 2022 divided by 2024. Um, that's that's one example. Because as, as we increase fractions, like a half, third, quarter, they get smaller. So actually that then links into here, because if we had um, X is 2023, then this thing would actually be 1. But what I'm trying to convince you of is that, is that B, basically 2023, 22 over x minus 1, that is going to be um, bigger than 2022 over x, which is then going to be bigger than 2022 over x plus 1. So e will be the smallest. We've ruled out a and c because they're bigger than 1 already, and I hope I've convinced you about the other ones.